Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something absolutely amazing to take a look at. If you've been a viewer of my channel for quite a while, especially, you know, over the course of a few years, you may remember me reviewing some very cool fossil replicas and stuff in the past, though I haven't really done that too much lately. I'm a massive fan of fossil replicas, so it's kind of baffling that I haven't done that lately, but we now have have a super super cool looking fossil replica this is obviously a stegosaurus skeleton from deep time fossils this is the very first time that I've ever had the pleasure of checking out some of their work and I must say right out of the gate I am extremely impressed this stegosaurus skeleton is absolutely unbelievable but on top of that this is actually my very first time ever owning a high quality dinosaur skeleton like this most of the other skeletons and stuff where it's like a full body skeleton that I have it's like cheaper companies and stuff that had created them, so they're not, you know, amazing. Or, of course, stuff like Wonder Artistic Models, where it's not, you know, quite like this. It's more of like a uh, puzzle type of a thing. Whereas this is an incredibly high-quality model reconstruction of the Stegosaurus. On top of this, I also... We've got ourselves a sticker, and as you can see, it does say Deep Time Fossils. Again, showing us the name of the company, as well as a really nice image there of a Triceratops skull. Obviously, you know, it's a fossil replica and stuff like that. Very cool, very shiny, really like that. But some information on this skeleton, and this information was taken directly from the Deep Time Fossils website. But this is a replica of the first Stegosaurus Stenops ever discovered, the famous Kessler Stegosaurus, which is currently exhibited in the Denver Museum of Nature and Science in Denver, Colorado. Their Stegosaurus is the most accurate and highly detailed scale model ever created. Using state-of-the-art 3D scanning and printing technologies, it represents an exact reproduction of the original Kessler skeleton in miniature form. And each piece is handcrafted by the same paleo artists who work on full-sized fossil exhibits for countless museums across the globe. The original specimen was actually discovered by Frederick Carl Kessler in 1936 in Colorado. And again, now is also on display in Colorado, as we mentioned earlier. And uh, this honestly is out of this world is first of all it's super cool to see a model like this it's also super cool to know that it is an exact replica of the stegosaurus you know of an actual stegosaurus so that is extremely extremely cool you may also notice that i don't actually have the pegs all the way down i just kind of stood it on here for a minute before we're going to get a closer look of course and you know going to take it off and sometimes when you take a model like this you put the pegs in it can be hard to get them back out i don't know if that's going to be the case for this one but rather than find out the hard way i decided to just kind of keep it partially in but you know until we take that closer look so as always let's jump to it right now so starting up here at the head sculpt, I think one of the things that uh, you'll probably pick up on straight away is how impressive the actual, uh, you know, cast is here and how good the detail looks on it. If you get nice and close, you can see so much detail on that head sculpt, you know, different areas of like slight damage and uh, just, of course, the excavation process. It looks unreal here in person, like... Even the skull on its own is incredibly high quality. But of course, as you move back here into the neck, you pick up the vertebrae, you pick up the plates and everything. And uh, as you continue to move along, you can see how good the plates look and the actual detailing of the plates. And they've also painted this out really nicely. They've done a uh, kind of a variation of different light browns and tans and also applied a nice dark brown wash. And it helps to add so much realism to the skeleton itself. I think it looks honestly excellent here in person when it comes to the paintwork. It looks extremely realistic, like basically looking like the skeleton most certainly does in the museum on display. 
And of course, continuing to move back, you see the plates increase in size like you would expect to on a Stegosaurus. And like just for instance, take this plate here into consideration and just look at how impressive the detail is as well as of course the paintwork. And you can see they've even applied like dry brushing techniques and everything to bring that detail out very nicely. As you move down, of course, we've got the shoulder blade here. And even that, it honestly looks like actual fossilized bone. That's how darn good this is. And then you lead down, of course, through the course of the leg down into the foot. You can see the toes are sculpted out very, very nicely. They've even given kind of like some lighter variation to the tips of the toes here, which you can see. You can see the pegs on the underside of the feet as well. And one thing that is pretty cool about this is it's a little bit flexible with the way it's put together. I don't recommend moving it in any sort of like a, you know, way where you will push it around or bend it, but it's not like it's the type of thing that if you bump it into something, it's going to smash. It definitely feels and seems a lot more durable than that. But you can see the rib cage, of course, for the Stegosaurus. And as I mentioned, the plates will continue to grow in size as you move back here. Through the course of the body, we continue to see, again, all of the vertebrae, the hip bone and everything here as you move down the leg. Again, you can see how nice of a job they've done of applying that dark wash right here, as well as the dry brushing as you move down through the course of the leg. And again, you can see little cracks and crevices to the bone as you move along and you lead down through the course of the leg into the rear foot again looks just as nice as the first foot did there well the first two feet that we had taken a look at again we have a peg on the underside of the foot and then as you lead back up you can see the plates are pretty much at their largest point here as we lead out into the tail you can see again it just looks so nice like just look at the actual tail here itself and how good of a job they've done of painting this out in a way where it absolutely looks 100% genuine, 100% like fossilized bone. And then we lead out, of course, to the thagomizers. And you can see even again little cracks and crevices and damage to the thagomizers exactly as this specimen looks in the museum in Colorado. If we turn it around very carefully, you can get a nice shot there of the opposing side of the head. And then we move back here along the course of the body. You've again got the turn in the neck, and that's pretty cool. You can see an entire uh, turn to the body itself. Obviously, the Stegosaurus is in a position where it certainly looks to be defending itself, and that's definitely a nice touch. If you get an Allosaur skeleton, this is the perfect companion piece to go with that. But you can see the shoulder blade again. You can see how this leg is just bent a little bit more so than we see on the opposing leg, like this leg was picking up off of the ground. I love the uh, positioning for the skeleton. It just adds so much to it. On top of, you know, having an incredible exact replica of this skeleton, you can see that we also, again, have the really cool pose with it, which helps to not only give it the look of the actual skeleton and a presence to it on your shelf, which is really cool. You can see as we move along the underside here, like the pelvic area and everything, what it looks like. The rear leg here is definitely trailing a bit compared to what we see on the opposing side. Again, you can see the rib cage, the plates, and everything as we move along. And then we lead out here again through the course of the tail, which the tail does have that really nice turn to it. Again, back out to the thagomizers out there on the end of the tail. So when it comes to a dinosaur skeleton, like there is no competition. This is easily the single best dinosaur skeleton that I have in my collection. And of course, as I said earlier, I don't really have any high quality skeletons like this. So I think it's pretty obvious that it was going to be. But I think even if I did have others, this one would be incredibly hard to beat out. It is that nice. And then we've also got a really nice, very professional base. First of all, you can see we got, again, the Stegosaurus Stenops, and you can see that we have Colorado State Dinosaur, which is exactly what the Stegosaurus is. And as you move along, it's just a really nice base with a nice black tone to it. Nothing too flashy going on, giving it that perfect museum quality look, I would say. And then here on the back, you can see Trivold Paleontology Incorporated, as well as a skull right there, a skull silhouette. And again, you can see the entire thing just basically has that black look to it. There's nothing else really going on, but it's extremely professional, very well done. And you can actually turn the nameplate a little bit. You can kind of put it on an angle or you can straighten it out. 
that's really up to you, I guess. But it is a beautiful base to go with an absolutely amazing Stegosaurus model. And now we officially have our Stegosaurus on the base the entire way down. And man, does it ever look absolutely as beautiful and majestic as it gets. Like, man, oh man, is that ever an incredible, incredible visual that is just, again, one of the most breathtaking things I think I've ever had the pleasure of adding to my collection. And I am a massive fan of Stegosaurus, so this is even more special to me, I would say. But as far as a size on our Stegosaurus goes, for a length, if we actually go from the end of this Thagomizer to the snout of our Stegosaurus, about 10 and a half inches, roughly, or around 26 and a half closing in on 27 centimeters and then for a height the highest point would be the plate here in the back about seven inches or around 18 centimeters and as far as a width on the base about eight and a quarter inches or 21 centimeters and then if we actually turn this and get a uh, measurement this way about four inches or a little over 10 centimeters for a size comparison there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, Robert Muldoon, and the Collect a Human Being next to our Stegosaurus here from Deep Time Fossils. And you can see it does absolutely have a very nice, very impressive size to it. It's not gigantic, but it is in no way small. I would say it's a perfect size for something like this. And for another comparison, when it comes to a few Stegosaurus models, here we have a Mojo Fun Stegosaurus next to the Deep Time Fossils version. And obviously it's going to be hard to find one that can match the size of the Deep Time Fossils version. But no matter what Stegosaurus you would choose to display with it, it's definitely going to look awesome. We also have the very old school and vintage style stegosaurus from ts toys as well as the bully land stegosaurus i would say probably one of my favorite stegosaurus figures i have we've also got the old carnegie collection stegosaurus as well as another safari ltd version a little bit newer than that uh, carnegie collection version of the stego and even though it's a not so great repainted version, we have the great dinos version of the Stegosaurus from Safari LTD next to our Deep Time Fossils version. We've also got ourselves a Mattel Stegosaurus, which is definitely very close to the size of the Deep Time Fossils version, as well as the Kenner Stegosaurus, again, a figure that many people definitely have in their collection. We've also got the gorgeous PNSO version of the Stegosaurus as well as the Invicta Stegosaurus, another comparison, but for one final totally random comparison, yes, we've got the definitely Dinosaurs Stegosaurus as well, next to our Deep Time Fossils version. So this Deep Time Fossils Stegosaurus Stenops skeleton replica is absolutely amazing. As I said, it is unquestionably the best full-bodied skeleton that I have in my collection. Nothing can compete with this. The quality is honestly off the charts. The overall appearance is amazing. Again, as it stated earlier when I was reading off of their website, it is a direct scan of the original skeleton. So that means it is as picture perfect as it gets. And it's of course the most accurate and perfect replica of that stegosaurus probably in existence so straight away that's extremely impressive on top of that the overall quality of deep time fossils product itself is really really well done like it is as high quality as it gets the detail is exceptionally vibrant every ounce of detail on the original skeleton is transferred perfectly to this replica and it has been painted up masterfully by deep time fossils again with all of the different variations of color as well as dry brushing techniques and washes to give it that super realistic and very lifelike fossil sort of a look again it looks again as genuine as i think i've ever seen for something like this and of course you add in the fact that we have that really nice base giving it the museum quality look as well as that nameplate down there and you have yourself 
one incredible masterpiece. So if you are interested in grabbing this for yourself, and I highly recommend if you are interested that you do, I will include a link in the description to where you can purchase it on the Deep Time Fossils website. And of course, while you're there, make sure you shop around, check out some of the other stuff because they have so much amazing stuff on their website. And I actually have two more things that I will have up here on my channel for you guys very soon. So make sure you check those links, go check out Deep Time Fossils, grab this skeleton and like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.